is my favorite weather because it brings you close. Hello, beautiful people. In my last Christmas decorate with me, pictured up on screen, I shared with you guys my neutral, light inspired Christmas decor. In this Christmas decorate with me, I was inspired by tradition. And I wanted to interject more traditional Christmas colors and winter motifs into my decor. So today I'm going to share with you guys my fresh reimagined take of traditional Christmas decor. And I hope that you'll stay with me all the way until the end of the video because there are going to be some really cute, really feel good moments throughout the video. And I really think you'll enjoy it. Let's get started. We're gonna get started in the kitchen today and I've cleared out all of the decor and given it a really nice cleaning so we'll have a great blank canvas to get started with. The first thing I'm incorporating is this beautiful fresh cedar from my local garden center. Typically I use faux greenery and faux garlands but this year I thought I would try something a little bit different and go with fresh and I am so glad that I did. The garden center had a wide selection of different types of garlands and bunches of different types of greenery and the prices actually were not bad. Now I know that these things have a limited shelf life but there is something extra special about having the actual fresh greenery and every time you touch this greenery every time you handle it the aroma fills the air and it is so beautiful not to mention that i think there's just something a little bit more romantic and poetic about using something live instead of something synthetic i bought this mirror at wayfair about a year ago and i will try to link it down below if they still have it available one of my favorite things that i'm using today is this little cypress evergreen tree which i think is a perfect little mini christmas tree the only issue is that the limbs are too fragile to hang anything from but it's still incredibly beautiful all on its own and it makes a beautiful little christmas tree in this clean white pot I framed this Pottery Barn napkin and layered it over the mirror just to create a little bit of depth here. And I really like this pattern because it's very traditional and it has those traditional Christmas colors. The next thing I'm doing is hanging a cypress garland that I got from Crate and Barrel. It is really beautiful and really realistic. It is a bit pricey, but in my opinion, it is worth every penny because of the quality. Next, I'm gonna be adding a nice red velvet bow to the garland. I really love velvet ribbon, especially a nice thick one that looks very rich. And I'm actually more of a fan of unwired ribbon than wired ribbon because I like the way that it falls and drapes a little bit more organically. I love how simple and clean this garland is. It's just a very nice touch. This is another one of my favorite pieces in this design. I think I have a lot of favorite pieces in this particular design. This is actually a vase that I ordered from Mark and Graham and I have been a customer of theirs for many years now. They specialize in doing monogrammed items and when I saw this vase, I thought it would be so cute to get my channel initials on it and I'm really happy with this. Everything that they do is always really high quality. I will link them down below. And this is not sponsored or compensated in any way. I just really like this company. Moving over to the sink area, I am using this faux potted amaryllis in a white pitcher that I use very often in the kitchen. Another one of my favorites in this kitchen is this beautiful pomegranate and cedar scented candle. It's by Studio McGee and I picked it up at Target. It is so beautifully packaged and it was the last one that I saw there. 
If you see this in the store or if you want to go online and order it, you should definitely pick it up because it's gorgeous and it also smells really good without being overbearing. I put it on the cake stand since it is right by the sink. I didn't want it to get wet, so I'll see how it holds up. These pretty white deer are from Crate and Barrel, and I first saw these when I took you guys on the tour to Crate and Barrel. I will link that tour up in the corner. And I wanted to zhuzh these deer up just a little bit, so I gave them each their own red velvet scarf to stay warm this winter. Next, I'm filling this white bowl with red glass ornaments that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. This is a really great, inexpensive way to decorate during the holiday, is to fill a large vessel with ornaments and they don't have to be glass, so you can go even less expensive. Next, I'm gonna dress this hook bar that I got at Ikea a while ago and I still love it just as much as I did when I first got it. It comes in such handy for hanging towels and it gives me one more place that I can kind of decorate for the seasons. I love changing out my towels seasonally. I found these very simple towels at Ikea and I believe they were like $2 each. So this is just one more thing that's very economical and very easy to do with each season just changing out your towels to match your seasonal decor. Here I'm just layering in some more of that fresh cedar just for a little bit of visual interest and because it's pretty. <laughs> and I'm just repeating the same thing on the other side of the sink. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of whimsy with this gingerbread house that my daughter and I made. And I'm so excited about these gingerbread houses because they are so cute and so whimsical and so magical, but they are incredibly quick to make and they are incredibly easy to make. I will put a link down in the description box for the tutorial for these. This is something that's just fun and nostalgic and very traditional and putting it into the candle holder with the snow just elevates it a little bit. And now we're ready to see the finished kitchen. It is very simple, it is very clean, but we definitely have a lot of that traditional feeling in this room. I wanted this room to feel like a breath of fresh air. When my family and I visited Yosemite a few years back, there was just a freshness in the air there and there were so many beautiful trees and I wanted to feel a little bit of that feeling when I walked into the kitchen. And it definitely feels fresh and it has the beautiful scent of the cedar wafting through the air. And I really like that I was able to incorporate traditional Christmas colors in a way that is new and fresh and feels very pared down. I will let you guys look around the kitchen a little bit before we head into the dining room. The dining room decor centers around these adorable gingerbread houses that are made out of graham crackers. These could not be simpler. Every year for Christmas, my mother-in-law makes gingerbread houses and she bakes them from scratch and she puts windows in them 
and they are very elaborate and very beautiful. I think we might have to add graham cracker gingerbread houses to our tradition because they are just so easy and so quick to do. They just take all of the stress out of making these cute little houses. Of course, the first shortcut is using graham crackers from the store, and the second shortcut that makes these super easy is using hot glue to construct the houses. I took it a step further and just bought pouches of pre-made icing. It's not necessarily the best for this because it is a little bit softer than you would ideally want your royal icing to be for this, but I went with it and it worked. It didn't give me the most crisp lines, but they definitely worked for me and the gingerbread houses turned out super cute. Instead of embellishing our houses with candies, we used cute little cranberries. And I have to say this was a lot of fun because it was like instant gratification gingerbread houses. At some point, it occurred to me to use little pieces of the cedar to make wreaths for our gingerbread houses, and they turned out so cute. So I just hot glued the little pieces into circles. I wanted to incorporate the red color into the gingerbread houses, so I decided to make little bows for the wreaths. And you could also use pre-made bows here if you didn't want to make your own. My bows are very simple and very basic. I would definitely recommend coming up with your design before you start decorating. If you want to just go with the flow and decorate however you feel, that's totally fine. But I would definitely say that you should practice a little bit before icing your actual gingerbread houses. To make my wreaths, I just glued our red bows onto our little tiny wreaths. We decided that these houses would be in a winter forest, so we added snow with powdered sugar. We really enjoyed making these gingerbread houses, and I think that they turned out so adorably. And it's details like this that are going to make your home feel so magical during the holiday season. These are the types of traditions that can last a lifetime. And speaking of traditions, I'm using my grandmother's lace tablecloth as the basis for our tablescape today. I wanted something of hers that I could use and pass on to my children. Incorporating heirlooms into your decor is the perfect way to be reminded of traditions and to be reminded of heritage. And at this time of year when we are all thinking of family and friends, traditions are more important than ever. This is where I will leave you in the video, but if you made it this far, I would love for you to join our community by subscribing, like, share, comment, and know that I appreciate you being here. I have so much more beautiful Christmas content coming up, and I don't want you to miss out on any of it, so be sure to hit the notification bell so we can stay connected. Until next time. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland. Snowball in each hand Take me away Christmas Day There's joy in the air Families near We give thanks for this past year Oh, nothing compares To the love that we share What a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white 
You dazzle us all from big to small. Warm laughter and white smiles, my presence stacked in piles. Take me away, Christmas Day. Thank you.